Sanarada la isusani, ala hea kunara, nudu la hea kunara, amen. Amen, amen, as it is true, I tell you, I come from the Tragramaton. The constellations. Constellations, humans, meaning to say galactic. More than the earth's planets. So, uh, my gospel is Mark 10 again. Warning against the teachers of the law. The gospel is about the teachings, false teachers, teachers of the law, which is stated in Matthew 10, 38, Teacher, teachers of the law. As I thought, I said, watch out for the teachers of the law, the law. As you say it. I so I call it low. Why? L O W non spirits. Humanly teachings with your own lows. You know? They like to walk around in flowing robes and be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and have the most important seats in the synagogues and the places of honor at banquets. They devour widows' houses and for a show, they make a lengthy prayers. And these men will be punished most severely. Then you get it? Pastors, prophets, fools, messiahs, fools, whatever you call yourselves. False Jesus, false Christ, false Yeshua's, false Holy Spirits, teachers of the law. Wall, W O L, W E L, deadly. If I reverse the word L E W in tetragrammaton W E L, it is deadly. You know? Why? You make your own laws. You believe your own laws, like saying, do not make your own God. You know, the Ten Commandments. You speak the way just as how much you understand the word. You understand it just as how you read them. A fruit that they can. The same way how you see it. Which you devour houses and for a show you make lengthy prayers. Look at these pastors, false prophets. They pray so long and long and long and long and long and long prayers for a show. They devour, devour men's humans. They go to those who are who are widows, who uh, who is very low, feeling so low, feeling problematic, feeling like you know, those suffer so much, and then they even put the so-called hand in their head, which is humans, it is deadly. Because that is not how whom you call the Messiah pray. You know? You will be punished more severely. Those who are making this. Look at those uh, always go around in a suit. That is the flowing robes I'm talking about there that they love to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces. Just like exactly the Pharisees of those times in the ancient, in, you know, of those times I would say. When they go into their places, look, when they go into their, uh, when they see somebody they knew, they love it, they love the, they love the worldly, uh, you know, when they love to be greeted on the, even wherever you see them, and oh, pastor, impostor, you know, when their members saw them in anywhere, they, they want to be greeted in respect, yuck. You must, I say, yuck. You know why? You are full of 
This is why I said to you, listeners, be careful of those who claims to be prophets for how they have men they are many that have gone in this earth prophesying prophesying the sin men just prophesying they too are those Jezebel who are making money out of you and selling your souls and your spirits i am teaching this for the people to be aware of that i am whom you called hakodesh and those who are preaching the word of God, bride of Christ, word of God, bride of Christ, B-I-B-L-A, the death of humanly laws. You notice that. These pastors, false prophetess, false believers of my fathers, they love to go around for they have their own laws. Think of those laws that they are doing. Think of those laws that they are acting. They will tell you many things. If you believe in Jesus, accept now that He is the Savior. Dilahara. Jesus won't and will never ever save. If you believe in me, my name that you worldly given me might be. You know? But look how many of you with that. Look how many of you been devoured by thy own widows. Who is the widows? Those pastors. They are the widows in the beginning. Why they are widows in the beginning? They have many women. They have many. Uh, how many times that they have uh, prophesied, prophesied, prophesied? You will be punished severely. Just look at Matthew 10 or search warning against the teachers of the law, the Bible verse. These pastors, they love the most important seats in their synagogues. Wherever they go, they love to be seated. This isn't right now the mic thing. I say sing because Q-I-N-G, his name and I, my first name Q and the rest S. His, in, his name in that is N and G. He had my name G and I had the name Q. With that, my brother. With I, I am Iana. You must look at those who are who are uh, making lengthy prayers. This who even raise their arms. That is demonic. You must. That is demonic. That they are doing. They raise their hands and they have the lengthy, 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 lengthy prayers. And then what? They kill your spirit. You, you have the spirits anyway. The uh, they sell your flesh. They sold your souls with nothing left. And then them, they've been devouring your spirits. They make money out of you. <laughs> you know? They gab, you know, the the uh, the yak yak so much, the bumble mumble so much words. Oh, you know, just look at those pastors that they make uh, this lengthy lengthy prayers with their hands on the air. The lahara, you must. That is really, really, really a grief. Why? For my father never did this. For I am that. You know, because your hands is used to rub your dicks. Pastors. Your hands is used in anything. Think about it. At least the dog is holier. 
Then when you go pee, or when you go wherever you go, when you go to sleep, you rub your cocks, and then what? Just like a chicken that denies God the Father three times. You know? That is the symbol of those who raises their hands. Like, hi, hello, you are looking for hell. Waving. You know, just think about that. It's not, when they, they think they are, you must, they are not giving you a blessing. They are abhorring your spirits and your souls. When they raise their hands and give you a prayer, they are selling your souls. Because their hands is unclean. It's been into anything. You know? It's like saying, take the dog's dick to go for a piece. 